Well, I've got I've got like loads of collaborations, but I was almost thinking maybe do a different, do another disc of the collaborations because I don't want it to be about anybody else. You know what I mean? But yeah, I've got loads of tracks. Like I've done a track with Howard Marks, a track with Carl Barat, a track with Richard Orley, a track with Howard Marks. You had a slight lineup change as well, haven't you? What, what brought that about? Uh, just because one of the other lads that are bass is a bit like busy now. We do baby things, so we've got like a new drummer. And a new bass player, you know what I mean? It's been two years since we've done a gig, man, so it's, it's been a bit of an issue. Like, thing going out again, like, I don't really know what to expect in lots of ways. Um, Are you enjoying it? Yeah, yeah, no, it's cool, man. We're making another record, which is, we're making another record, which is, I think it's brilliant. Best thing we've ever done, really, and it's, that, I'm hopeful about that. Off on tour and all, so, just want to go and have a bit of a laugh, really. You know what I mean? It's been a minute since we've done it, so, just want to go and get a bit mashed up and have a laugh. Big man. Yeah, man, it'd be nice to play with. We've played with Oasis, like, supported them on tour before. And just like stayed in touch and all the good lads, so it'd be nice to have a little bevy beam and get on the playing some arenas and shit. I don't know, like when you first start in a band, like to think somebody who's who you love thinks your band are alright, mm. that's all you really want, innit? You don't really want old more than that, you don't want to be rich or famous or all like that. Or... So, you do, are you very like demanding when you're playing? Do you have like, a lot of stuff on your island? Is that massive cucumber? There's always a massive cucumber. Um, I'm just very into. <laughs> <laughs> Just very into, you know, phallic uh, <laughs> vegetables generally and um, it's just nice to have the option I find of a large cucumber after after, a, after you know after a strenuous gig is no better than a, <laughs> a cucumber session when you get back to it. Apparently apparently that we have discovered that um, the insertion of cucumbers <laughs> is actually um, it's a society scientifically <laughs> quite quite bad, uh, owing to the small uh, microscopic hairs found on a cucumber, which can become lodged within really? one's cavities. You sound like a bit of an expert. <laughs> like I said, you know what I mean. <laughs> what what I don't know about phallic cucumbers, don't think we're known. Right, I, like, I, like, I, like, I feel like I should have said that. Like, like what I don't know about. Phallic <laughs> Since the last album, you've got married. Yeah, congratulations. Thank you very much. Um, has that changed the writing style any, or had any influence on? No, no, I don't. I didn't want to get all like you know. I've got married, beautiful boy, kind of. You know what I mean? Like, I love the missus and everything, but it, like, you can have like one or two songs that might maybe you know, like that. But I think like, you know, like you get them artists and they get a bit like settled. So it's not softened you up then? No, I still like taking drugs and stuff. You know, like, you know people are like, I'm married, I'm, I'm having kids, I'm never going to take drugs again, and all my songs are going to be like, make tempo and a bit boring. It's not for me that, you know what I mean? I'm still, I'm still like quite a leery person, just because I'm married, I'm going to have to stop lying. It's scared of being weird in that voice. Well, I don't know, just like, <laughs> chucking cucumber about. Um, no, I don't know, like, I think, I think, really, like, if I hope this album's a bit larier than previous ones, I think I've got of it, like, uh, a bit more it last record, a bit political and a bit like moody. I've done that one, I'm not up for like, let's have it album again. So, yeah, good vibes. So is any of Laura's influence at all on? Oh, she tells me loads of things I like, there's loads of stuff you like. But more, it's more like on a, like a band level, because we're in a band together, it's more like a creative, collaborative thing rather than like... Two lives. Yeah, we're just five people life. in the yeah. band, in band and all, you know what I mean? So we all bounce off each other and like, Thing is, we were in band together before we were ever together, so it's not even like based on music reason we got linked up. Like it weren't based on the fact we were like together, kind of thing. Do you know what I mean? So it's kind of started with music, so that's old music is kept musical. Do you know what I mean? And I'm like, once we get old, we cucumber. Getting off cucumbers. Um, yeah. Do you see yourself as getting off on cucumbers? Getting off on cucumbers. <laughs> Do you see yourself more as, I know you're, you're a poet and everything, do yeah. you see yourself as a poet first or a musician first? Oh, I don't know. Is don't it hard to keep it serious? I don't even think, I even think about it these no. days. I used to take me saying dead serious, like I'm a poet first. <laughs> no, I don't ever talk in that way, so I don't know why I went posh, but you know, <laughs> you think of poetry, you're like, cucumber. posh people in it and poetry, you know? But I don't know, I just, I just like, st I've stopped thinking about it these days, I just write songs that I like, and like, on this album I wanted to write a lot of songs that like, when get up and go and a bit having it and a bit, in your so get, getting a bit Larry is mainly your inspiration for this. On album. this album, yeah, but I just do what I feel really, you know what I mean? And I think like um 
I'm really looking forward mostly to uh, my Cucumber concept album. Um, <laughs> That's really where my creative art lies. Obviously, I do revenue makers to get money, and then yeah. I'm really you know, I'm more about the cucumber. How <laughs> I'm the guitar bass music mm. is sort of being seconded to like yeah. a, anything more electronic. Are you gonna go that way? Or? I've always had my feet in either camp. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like like heavyweight champion at Will's got guitars on, but it starts with a big synth thing, and that's yeah. really, that was my first tune. And like the tune on this album called Bassline, which is a proper synth workout, but same way with some noisy guitars that. I don't know, I don't think it should have to be one way over really. Yeah. Unfortunately it seems to be some uh, circular thing where you can it's either bands are in or like electronic music's in and I don't think it has to be such a like a brutal yeah. thing, doesn't it? But I suppose in some ways it helps get scenes going and what have you and new trends yeah. and stuff. It's really putting you off this group and we're never sitting down. No, it's that's all I can think about. <laughs> well, so how do you feel about everything going more digital? Is it sad to see? Um, like having, you know, no, I'm not one of them like, no. like old men who cries about like record shops being closing down. It's yeah. sad and I like record shops and I like buying vinyl and, but at the same time I just think, you know, like surely somebody were crying off at the gramophone, weren't they, or whatever, you know what I mean? Or like crying because beat the match videos have gone out of fashion, you know what I mean? There's always going to be something in there, I think you've just got to roll with it and stuff, you know, so I think... I thought talking to some kids about putting vinyl out recently and they're like 16 they were like yeah vinyl's cool and everything but like none of my mates have got a fucking record playing that, that sort of brought it home to me really. yeah you know what I mean it's, it's it's you've got to like talk to people on terms they understand and if, if you're putting like limited edition vinyls out and yeah. nobody's got a record player it's all a bit too cool for school isn't it you know what I mean so you're using like um, SoundCloud and things like that to get from YouTube and all that because you're saying just a couple of tracks we're gonna have a by free, accident. Yeah, somebody put some leaks from tracks off a knobhead, but um, we're going to put a free track called Baseline up on us Facebook on Monday and okay. yeah, it's like free to download. I think all you've got to do is like us Facebook and then you get a free tune and it's a proper banger. So yeah man, why not? Let's like get involved in a bit of modern shit.